Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's pretty cool. Ah, uh, okay, that's one of the uh, one of the D whatever cards, D H I zone cards. That's pretty cool with all the flying balls everywhere. Ninety four hot streaks. Hey there, y'all. Uncle here. Hope you've been having a great day. Hope every day is a blessed day for you and y'all. So I got here a box of cards. Now, I have not ever seen these or opened these or anything. I, I got them in an eBay auction for, I, I think it's a really good price because these are going to be fun. These are Tops Dimension 3 Major League Baseball cards. 3D, so real, it's unreal with a DH. I zone card randomly packed. Okay, interesting. I, I don't know if there are one per box. Now, I can tell you that from the little reading I did, these were very not well received by the collector community. Uh, definitely not popular. Just a complete junk wax thought. Uh, these are 1995s, as I mentioned. Although there are lots of great players, lots of future Hall of Famers in these. Uh, lots of cool stuff, and supposedly these cards do look kind of cool, kind of like the Sports Flicks 3Ds, but even better. So let's open up a bunch of packs of these. I don't know how many packs I'm going to do, but I, I want to do a few. And look, there's even a Roger Clemens, there's a Rocket Roger card, like stuck to the top of this box. Now, I like, I like opening stuff that I have not seen opened by many people before, and this is one that I don't think I've ever seen on YouTubes. Maybe somebody has it one time. I don't know, but yeah, that's completely stuck to the top of the box. I don't think I can get that off. I'm not going to try anymore. That's going to be a cool souvenir. Anyway, let's see. Now, that's what the packs look like. Ooh, crispy. There's five cards per pack. And what? There's, let's see how many packs. How many packs are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's 24 packs per box. I think I'm going to open six packs. I think that's good for today. I'll get back to the rest of these at another time. But I, from what I've seen, again, from what I've seen online, as I said, not very well received. People didn't have a, an appreciation for them. It was just one more type of pack. I mean, one more type of card. Let's just see what's in these. Let's take a look-see at Dimension 3, Major League Baseball card Series 1. Maybe we'll see why these are not. Okay, well, that's they. there is some a little bit of brickage there, but not very bad, that's for sure. Starting off with Travis Fryman. Now, I, I guess it's pretty good 3D. It's not... It's weird though. I'm seeing like his elbow to his his elbow and shoulder twitch. That's what the backs look like. Now the backs look pretty cool. I mean, that's definite. I like that effect that it gets given and the whole explosion concept. That's pretty interesting. All right, who's that? Darren Lewis. It's a pretty cool picture, but. I mean, yeah, okay, I could see the 3D-ishness, that's for sure. It's not really sports flicks where it's moving around, but just like three-dimensional pictures. Is he standing there or not? That's Joe Carter. Andres Galarraga, who's standing behind him? Is that Sammy? Might be. Can't tell. Can't tell. He's blurred. He's blurried. Galarraga. And that's Bobby Bonilla. He looks like he's having the time of his life there. He's just laughing. He must have slugged one somewhere. Looks like a very happy camper. I mean, the contract. And he got paid until, like, what, last year or something? He got, like, a 30-year. He, he was one of the originators of, yeah, pay me a little bit now. A little bit, yeah. Pay me a million now and pay me the rest of my contract over a 30-year period. It's like hitting the lottery. Smart move. Shohei just did that, didn't he? Yep. Got Ray Sanchez and got all sorts of barking about that, saying he's, you know, 
they, they got to think about taxes and all that other stuff. That's what happens when you play in California. Ray Sanchez, you know, he's not going to be paying the full tax value on his, on his uh, income during his playing time in California. So when does, when does that get counted? Does he get paid? If he gets paid 15 years from now and he's not living in California anymore, he's living who knows where, who's he going to be paying his state taxes to? California wants their cut of his work, you know, just like everywhere else. Got Cal Eldred. Don't ask my opinion on taxation. It's theft. Walt Weiss. Chris Gomez. Not a single Hall of Famer yet. Nobody to put up on the wall. I mean, so far I think the best hit is the Tim Salmon card. Yeah, I'll put it up. Now these are also really thicker cards. There's definitely a, a thickness to them. Pretty cool. I'm not, I'm not completely thrilled with these either. I, I guess I can see why people didn't exactly like them. They, the the three-dimensional aspect, it's pretty cool, but it's not its its not as, as they say, 3D so real. An infinite depth percept, perspective. I mean, it is super thick laminated construction. That I do, that I do say. Dave adjust this. All right, now that's a nice hit. Barry Larkin, we got our first wall of hall, a hall of famer there. Very nice. He'll get a frapper. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's pretty cool. Ah, okay, that's one of the uh, one of the D whatever cards, D H I zone cards. That's pretty cool with all the flying balls everywhere. Ninety four hot streaks. That's pretty cool. D H I Z five. That's very nice. I like that one. All these three-dimensional balls flying around all over the place. Can only hit one dude. Jim Tomei, all right. And Mike Piazza, this is the best pack. This is the pack that uh, probably makes the whole box. This is pretty cool. All right, let's get these into frappers here. I have a buddy that's uh, Mike Piazza. He has a big Mike Piazza personal collection. So that one I'm going to be saving off for him, shuffling that one off. Jim Tomei. Very nice card there. That's actually a pretty nice action shot, too. That's cool. This pack just turned it around, I think. Just a little bit. <laughs> Got the Barry Larkin. Got three Hall of Famers. One possible probable someday in the future hall of famer and that that dni balls all over the place balls bouncing all over the place some pretty cool stuff in that pack all right let's get the next this next pack open here let's see if we get some more cool stuff at least all right we got scott lewis okay we're back to the not so cool stuff dean palmer yeah, the thickness of these cards make them kind of hard to handle also. Mike Greenwell. Paul O'Neill. Doom, 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 doom. Nice Paulie card. And who's that? I'm going to keep the Yankee card on the side there. And Doug Drabeck. I should have known that his, his name is clear. And Tobin C's name is not so clear. All right, let's get this next pack going. Now, I may end up throwing a couple of these packs up on one of my shops just because. Make sure you keep checking back there. It's one of my Shopify stores. Mark Grace, very nice. That, that, that gets saved for the Cubby fan. Travis French Fry Man. Darren Lewis, he's going to fly. Look, look at that. It's actually a really nice picture, though. Good action shot. Denny Martinez. Tim Wallach. Yep. See, it does throw it off a bit because these cards are so thick. You think there's another one there, but it's not stickage. It's just like they're huge, like super thick cards. All right, got this last pack going here. 
and the rest are going to be part, uh, yeah, part for another day, and part up on the, up on the Shopify shop, and who knows what else, but, yep, that's what I'm thinking, got Moises Alu, Todd Zeal, also, if there's any in that stack that any of y'all might want for your collection, let me know, I'm sure we can work out something here, that got that Todd Zeal, ooh, Jeff Bagwell, Astros fan there, very cool. That one will go up on the wall. I think so. Dave Nielsen. And Lou Whitaker. Sweet Lou. Oh, look at that. That looks like a Yankee uniform. Is it? Maybe. Is it? Maybe. I can't tell. Could be. Yeah, you see that the 3D aspect on these, it is a bit blurryish. Not totally what I'd like, but still not bad cards. Just, uh, yeah, I could, I could see that. Mm, they might not be accepted by many. I, I can see why. Anyway, I had fun ripping these. These were absolutely different. I hope y'all enjoyed these. Again, if there's any in this like stack here, or even in the other stack that you might want that you don't have for your personal collection, you want to work out a trade, send me a holla. Let me know. All right? Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed. These were Tops Dimension 3 1995 Major League Baseball Card Series 1. Hope y'all enjoyed. I definitely had fun. Y'all take care. Stay well. Stay blessed. Bonkle out.